Okay, hi everyone. Um, it's June seventh, um, twenty twenty, and yesterday I started putting um, this message together. Um, this part of it actually, um, more of it came to me today. So first, I want to talk about um, the spiritual warfare that that we as believers are facing right now. Um, it's really important that we see what's going on that we see what's going on in the world and see it for what it really is. And it is definitely spiritual warfare because um, things are really, really happening fast. And uh, they are definitely not what they seem, what, what um, the media tries to make them seem or the government tries to make them seem. So first I'm going to just say that the time, we all know that the time for repentance is very short. Um, we gotta, we got to just make sure that we repent and we're walking with the Lord closely, more close than ever. We need to continue to watch and pray. The attacks of Satan are increasing in the world uh, intensely. And he's making war with the saints, um, as the Bible says. we got to submerge ourselves into God's Word. And we have to stay in prayer constantly um, in the Spirit and walk closer than ever with the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. That's his Hebrew name. The devil's trying to ensnare God's children more and more. And I, and I believe all of you have seen this. Um, it's, it's getting so bad that um, it's really, it's, it's almost like sometimes we feel like, like I was listening to the book of Job. Um, I was just like in this deep, deep sorrow and so many things and attacks and things are happening and looking at the world but I was listening to Job and I just uh, I really really felt like that was my heart but we all know that Job went through much more than I don't think anybody else could handle as a human being but um, and he still was faithful so God tested him ahead of time um, but we need to remember who we are in Christ Satan wants us to forget that we need to remember who we are in Christ, that we are covered in the blood of Christ, and that we're paid for in full by the blood of Christ, and we are forgiven. Every time Satan or a vessel of Satan, some person that he uses, reminds you of your sin, reminds you of you know, the mistakes that we've made in the, in the past, or uh, even if we fall and we get back up again now, any time that you're reminded of that, that's from Satan. Because we are forgiven for everything we sent, we've asked forgiveness for. He died for every sin. Jesus died for every sin, past, present, and future. For every believer, everyone who believes on the Son and accepts his sacrifice of blood for payment of sin. So we're forgiven. We share in his resurrection. And we'll be with him forever in his glory. And know the power that we have in God in his Holy Spirit that raised Christ from the dead and the power over the enemy and the unclean spirits, everything, all things that we have power of in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, and in his, his power. It's not us. We're just, just small, minute, powerless uh, beings. But because we have the Holy Spirit, because we claim the name of Jesus Christ and we follow him and we love him, we have power over all things. Remember this. We must put on the armor of God also every day. The whole armor. Um, remember the might and the Holy Spirit. We have his might. Um, we, know, we have to know the power of God. We have to walk in his power. We don't, we don't want to be like um, in Timothy, 2 Timothy, I think it is, or I don't know if it's first or second. I can't remember where. Uh, it says perilous times will come. People will be lovers of themselves, um, ungodly, unholy, blasphemers. You know, there's a list of things. And then wearing the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, being, you know, wearing the form, being Christians, but not knowing God's power, not knowing him, not knowing his word. So we have to know the power of God. Uh, remember that, okay? Um, take up the whole armor of God. Memorize it. Take it up. Take action with these peace and pray to the Lord that we use it well. And 
remember in the armor of God, there's uh, the last thing that, that there's a list of, it says, above all, above all things, take up the shield of faith, taking up the shield of faith that extinguishes the fiery darts of the enemy. Now I'm paraphrasing there, but I'm going to put those things underneath in the details below this particular video. And that way, you know, we can have it out there so we can memorize. Uh, it's, it's good to memorize those things. You have to. You've got to know the armor that you're putting on. And it's all Christ. The helmet of salvation, he is our salvation. The breastplate of righteousness, he is our righteousness. The belt of truth, he is the truth. The preparedness of the gospel of peace for shoes, he is the prince of peace. The shield of faith, he's the author and finisher of our faith. Taking up the sword of the Spirit, which is our only offensive weapon. He is the Word of God. Amazing. That just, just gives me chills just thinking about it. It's like we put on Christ every day. We have to do that because the Bible says to put on the whole armor of God so you can stand against the devil and his strategies to do all you can do to stand, and above all things, taking up the shield of faith to extinguish the fiery arrows of the enemy. We must pray that every day. We have to also memorize the sevenfold nature of God, which is the seven spirits. In the book of Revelation, you'll see that there's um, the 24 elders and there's the four beasts. They all have different faces, the lion, the um, uh, face of a human, a calf, which is an ox, like a beast of burden, um, I, I don't know why I'm, I'm misplacing the fourth. And so there's four, go there and you'll see the four, those are cherubim, angels, cherubim. And there's the 24 elders, there's the seven spirits, sevenfold nature of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And memorize those too, because we have to pray for those things, those spirits of the Holy Spirit every day. It's the perfect nature of God, the Spirit of the Lord. I may not be doing this in order, so I'm just going by this here because I remembered it today. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Wisdom, the Spirit of Knowledge, the Spirit of Understanding, the Spirit of Might, the Spirit of Counsel, to counsel others, the Spirit of the Fear of the Lord, complete reverence and submission to the Lord, okay? So um, those things to memorize are really, really important. We're facing a very evil day. Further down today, as I keep recording, I'm going to go into some things, but um, we're facing a very evil day. As soldiers of Christ, we need to memorize these things and know who we are in Christ. Okay? Know the power that we walk in, in His power. Um, God says discernment is extremely important, especially when you're dealing with um, a world full of unleashed demons and ungodliness and lawlessness in the world it's getting hideously bad um, we have to pray for discernment and God says in his word that he trains us up in discernment in his word to know good from evil to discern the spirits so that is a critical thing to know um, it's especially important to discern people the spirit in them daily because the world has become so wicked, um, and we're looking again, the rebellion uh, in Second Thessalonians, we'll talk about that. Um, before the Antichrist is revealed, the rebellion comes first. We're seeing a worldwide rebellion against God, against the Son of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord, against anything good that in God's eyes. Um, the world no longer wants good. They call good evil and evil good, as prophesied. So time is short, and what's happening on earth prophetically right now, um, I'm going to talk about all those things, each section. You know, this is the first part. So um, we need to, to definitely know that we are in the biggest spiritual war that has ever taken place on earth. And we're soldiers for Christ. And we gotta, we got to know the power we walk in. we got to know Jesus and follow him closer than ever. Watch and pray and discern and uh, pray for each other. That's so important. God, just get, put that in my heart because I, I've forgotten totally to talk about it. 
you know, after the armor is listed, when Apostle Paul talks about that, he said, and pray for us. We need to pray for one another. Prayers are extremely important, and they change things. God hears our prayers. And with this social distancing, see, Satan's work, the lawlessness that has already been in place, but that is one way that they're separating the church right now because we can't physically get together and pray. Um, everybody else is going in masses to everything else, but, you know, the churches are suffering. But we, there's much more in a different, whole different video I'm going to talk about as far as the church is getting back together again, as far as gathering and assembling together as believers. But we need to pray for one another. Every day, I try to every day pray for the church worldwide, the body of Christ. Uh, all of us. We don't know each other, but we're in one family. We're in, the, we're in God's family. We're sons and daughters of the Most High, the only living God. And so there's many, many of our sisters and brothers in Christ dying right now. They've been dying, being slaughtered, being cut in half, and terrible things happening to them that they're suffering through. The Holy Spirit is helping and comfort, comforting them to their death. And they're alive with Christ right now. In, in the book of Revelation, um, the fifth seal is uh, the martyrs that are under the throne of God. And they say, when, O oh Lord, will you avenge our blood? And he says, it'll just be a little while, I'm paraphrasing, it'll be a little while longer. So the rest of them that died like you will come, the fullness of all of them. That's the, at the, by the end of the tribulation. So all those, uh, all those children of God that are, you know, being... Uh, killed right now and the last year the last several years it's really really increased and it's going to be a global genocide a global um, you know if things keep going the way they're going but there's going to be uh, we'll talk about that later also but I'm going to put those um, those scriptures in the description under the video and um, I'm going to ask for you guys to pray for me um, even if it doesn't matter if you've ever seen any of my videos before Please pray for me because I've been under serious, really serious attack. God has pulled me out once again. The Lord Jesus has delivered me from uh, certain death almost. I mean, it's like physical. This is, this is like, and not to do with illness because I deal with a lot of things like that too. But um, the more I do uh, messages, actually, the more I'm attacked. Um, and God is making me stronger through this and you know, these are trials. Um, and so uh, we just rejoice in the Lord. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Even in deep sorrow, we have joy. The world doesn't have that. So um, definitely. Um, oh, one more thing. The world doesn't have that. So check it out, everybody. The United Nations has a separate web page. I saw another sister and brother in Christ share this, um, and this is just to show you. Their whole theme is happiness. That's what we as Christians don't strive for. Happiness is temporary. It's a human thing. Depends on this, depends on that. We don't search for that. We have God's joy, the joy of the Lord, and that is far greater. Happiness is nothing. Um, so they, it's happiness something, and they're trying to put to get everybody together in this happiness. You, you have to look at the United Nations, the new sub uh, website that they have. Uh, it's coming, guys. It's coming. Um, this uh, false peace, this false, um, this uh, antichrist system is rising. So, um, God bless you. Uh, I hope that you have the time to watch the entirety of the all three parts that I'm doing today. Um, the Lord bless you, uh, and just keep me in your prayers, please. Pray for um, me to be patient and to endure, um, you know, through uh, the, the things that I'm going through and also through whatever may come my way. So I would appreciate your prayers, and I will always pray for um, the body of Christ. Um, in Yeshua's love, have a blessed day.